facade design pattern is often presented in an abstract way. There's no reason for that. I've got a great example for this, and this is how we might use the facade design pattern in Swift. Let's have a look. Now, I love this coding example of the facade design pattern because it is an example in Swift, but it's also a more abstract example at the same time. So what's happening is we're representing a computer and as you use a computer, you're not interested in the um, fetch execute cycle and the CPU jumps with inside the machine. And that's as a person and using this code, the same is true as well. So let computer equals computer. A computer is this thing here with boot address, CPU, memory, hard disk, and it goes through various functions to do it. Now the functions in this implementation don't actually really do anything. The point is you could implement that. So as the user of the system, you just make computer.start, which is similar to pressing the on button on your machine, but it's doing this all in the background. Now you don't need to know about these. To such an extent, in Swift, we can make these private lets. So you can't even access them from outside the class. And that means you can only access this computer through the start function. So you could have other functions here which do various things with the memory, uh, change the addresses, put things into memory, uh, for example. The user never needs to know about that. You can just say, for example, func play game. I hope that makes it clear that we're not using these classes, which now become private because we're not using these classes from the user point of view. You're just interacting with this facade that kind of doesn't do much on its own because you access to these internal classes and internal systems and function. But the outside user of the contract need never know about that. Well, that's it for this video. Hope it was of some use to you. Good luck coding.